I'm back at Deep Sea World today. My name's Arthur and this is my rolling vlog. So I've found a black and green poison dart frog and they're from Central and South America and they grow to four centimetres long and attract a female through vocalisations and this guy is trying to hide and here's another one just sitting on that rock over here so this is the green mantella it comes from Madagascar and it's critically endangered and it's trying to hide and there's another one the back there so here's the construction happening just now so it's literally in the middle of the public area where the amphibians are and the reptiles but once it's complete, it should be really cool for the alligator snapping turtle. They do, however, have a sign. One thing I didn't show you the last time was the seal feeding area. So I'm currently taking my way out to the seal enclosure so you can see them getting fed. And it's a bit of a bumpy ride because of the type of flooring that the seal enclosure has. As you can see, it's slightly bumpy. And I'm trying to keep the camera as still as possible. And it's also raining. Great! There's absolutely no covering in this area. I decided to record the feeding from underneath the shelter, just at the entrance, because it started to rain. Really heavy, and I think I've just made the right choice. Can you push this on again? I don't know if you can see this, but it's, it's getting really heavy now. And rain and me don't go together. So in this tank here, we've got the common blemmy or blenny and sea bass. Nice theming here. I haven't seen any common blennies, but most of the fish you see here are sea bass. So in this tank, we have archer fish, and these are named because they have the ability to, to shoot down insects that are in the mangrove roots. Because of their narrow shape, it allows them to sneak up on their prey. This is the seahorse tank. I've never seen a tank so clean in my life. A fun fact about seahorses is that it's the males that give birth to their young. There's loads of them over there. And here is the alligator snapping turtle that I mentioned earlier. And also, just so you know, it's not that blue in this tank at all. It's just the effect from the blue light up here, which is causing this to look quite blue. But in reality, it's not blue at all. I don't know if you remember from the last time I was here, 
but this tank was under maintenance well it's now fully operational and yet again it's not really this blue I'm now making my way down to the tunnel. One thing I want to point out to you is these screens here. This wasn't here the last time I was here and all this steaming here. It's a cool addition to their tank. And neither was this music. Of course, this rock theming was here the last time I was here. But I don't know why it's doing this effect to the camera because this is not a screen. It's crazy the amount of fish in here. So a fun fact about the tunnel that I'm in is that it's the, I'm not sure if it still is, but it was the biggest aquarium tank of this type in the whole of Europe. And by that, I mean a tank which you walk underneath. And this has a moving walkway. There's not much fish I can see. Oh, there's a ray just gone by there. And a shark. There's an angel shark. The conservation work we do for our family and business allows us to play our part in helping to ensure the fact that we want to have a reason Our angel sharks are not the only families in the group. They often have an evergreen group, cat nuts, food nuts, and bone nuts. These families of the group. One thing I'm really not happy about is this sign being there. All very well telling people not not to bring a buggy inside the tunnel. But this sign is right in the middle of the path, which means a wheelchair user can get on that path and is forced to go on the moving walkway, which isn't safe. And in fact, it tells you in this sign here not to bring a wheelchair onto the moving walkway and yet they put a sign right in the middle here blocking a wheelchair user from getting on that path and the reason why I'm mentioning it is mainly because I have actually told Deep Sea World three times personally about how this sign prevents a wheelchair user from getting on this path for over a year now Every time I visit, I tell them, and I know from to my friends who are also wheelchair users have told them about this sign. They've been told several times, not just by me, and they're still not doing anything about it. So, come on, Deep Sea World, do something about it and stop preventing access into your tunnel for wheelchair users. I've now left the underground tunnel and I've discovered the Midas Chilet and it's from Central America from countries like Nicaragua and Costa Rica and the sort of environment that these sort of fish like is rocky walls and river banks where they forage among the crevices there a male and a female can be told apart the males will have a hump on their heads so for example, it's a male, that's a male, but this is a female. Got some piranhas. Piranhas are quite fascinating, but they're also scary, if you believe some of the movies you see about them. But I wouldn't like to go inside their enclosure, I'm not risking that one. So. What does Volcano Bay at Universal Studios Florida and Deep Sea World have in common? This tank. Well, I know it's not quite the same title, but still, very similar. The 
theming in this tank is pretty cool. And I've got a huge fish. Now headed into the gift shop. They've got a Ray soft toy for $14.99. Various things, including dinosaurs. And this one here is $12.99. And this one here is... Well, this one doesn't have a price on. But I'm assuming it'll be $12.99 as well. And they've got loads of soft toys here of various different sizes. From the biggest to the smallest which are over here. Various different kinds of candy. And then they've got various kinds of, well, what I would call tacky sort of gifts. They've got mugs here for $4.99. And they've got glasses here for also $4.99. But these are made of plastic. And they've got travel mugs here as well, and they're priced at $2.99. And then they've got mugs here of various designs, and these mugs are priced at $5.99. But the ones on display are not for sale, it's the ones in the boxes that you buy. And if you're an annual pass holder like myself, you get 10% off, which is a really good deal. I've had a great time here at Deep Sea World. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember, if you haven't done so already, click on the notification bell. That lets you know when I upload my next vlogs. I've got many more adventures to come. But for now, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.